morning, they're always uh, a bit in the temporary at the park of Northwest High School. So basketball, for uh, Parkway. So when did you first get interested in sports? Um, I played, when I was young, me and my uh, siblings were in track. I always, I always liked it. And I was in, uh, and then I saw my brother playing football, and I wanted to play. And then, like, in eighth grade, I started playing basketball, because my dad wanted me to. What do you mean by that? Like, what was the certain things that they had you doing outside of sports from a parent perspective? Where it was like, go outside and dribble the ball every day, run around the block. Do you, do you remember any drills that your parents used to put you through? Um, I know we all used to go running together. And my dad wanted me to go uh, play ball outside with the you say, who was your dad's name? I'm Howie. So what are some of your inspirations? What inspired you to keep going? What, keep, what inspired you to keep playing? Something has to drop. Um, uh, I have uh, my role model. Uh, my role model my brother. Okay. Uh, Manny, Manny, what do you plan on doing in the future? Um, before, I wanted to be an architect and uh, end up being a track and field Olympian. Now I don't know what I want to do. Uh, it's not like I've like lost interest in it. I just don't know what I want to do. Okay, let's understand. It's not nothing wrong with switching, as long as you just don't quit. Like yeah. you could quit something, as long as you switch and have plans for doing something else. That's cool. That's a rugged with that. <laughs> okay. So, what do your family and your friends think about your sports success that you have? Uh, my family, they always like motivate me to be better and to be more. Like they'll like put down like in the text like uh, do good on the court, drop like twenty or something like that. And my friends, I mean they always they always encourage me to. Like, they say that nobody's better than me. Okay. So is it difficult to balance sports and schoolwork? No, is it? I believe that she's pretty easy. Talk to your dad. I believe that she's pretty easy. So it's actually easy to do both? I think yes, I believe so. So do, does the school administration, does they support you? Uh, mm -hmm. Like the staff, the administration, the teachers? If they like, we understand you playing sports, so you know, do, they, do they help you in any kind of way? No, not really. Not really? In school? Yeah, in school. Nobody encourage you to keep... Raise up and playing sports and don't compromise on us. I mean, my math teacher. Math like, teacher. He feels like I'm better in, in math because he said I'm like I don't like give myself to the highest to that point because I kind of quit in it. Okay, so how do you and your teammates feel about bench time? Not saying that you get it, but how? Been there before. How y'all feel about bench time for real? Um, I wouldn't know. <laughs> never, never been on the bench. So, did you have any conversations with your teammates about how they feel when they sit on the bench? No, not really. No. You just focus. Yeah. Cool. I mean, they get in like if you being by fourth quarter, they'll get in. So, yeah. Yeah. Can you describe a typical day from like the time you get up to the time you finish practice? Say if you have school in practice on this day, can you give us a little small synopsis rundown of how they go? I get up, I make the walk, I think a little for like to get up this morning, and then I go pray. School, I probably school, I don't know, do my work and stuff, maybe play around a bit. Then for when practice come, I'm pretty serious about it, but uh, after that, I just go home and go for it. Uh, I believe I think I can get better. Like I know I can. That's why I practice all the time. But I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much why I go to practice. So how much time is spent training and practice? Uh, practice for basketball is at least two two hours, and 
track is like two hours like running around and stuff, then we go in the weight room. So, so as a female, they actually have y'all lifting weights? Yes, but the weights, wow. the weights, they put us to do like certain things that we can't do. And in training, can you name me one or two things that specifically help you with your game? Whether it's basketball or track. Like something you love to do, you know it's helping you. Uh, I love to, like, like when you get basketball, I love to, uh, like, pop my three to see if I can get better to make, to make them in the game. And for track, I, I just like running around to see if I try to get faster. So are you any type of healthy diet? Diet? No. So you're not on no type of special diet for sports? No. How about water? Drink a lot of water? So do they ask you to, do they, do they try to put you on a special diet? No. Whether it's your family or your school or your coaches or anything? No, they don't. They don't Too early for that. They don't stand. Okay. So is there any foods that maybe your family or your school tell you like this going to work for you but it's hard for you to uh, eat it soon my mom i mean she tells me to eat vegetables and stuff but i don't i mean i like vegetables so i don't really have a problem with eating vegetables. okay that's cool what's your first love of sports you do track and you you run track and you play basketball what was your first love though out of the two track track yeah, definitely track yes so you started running track before Basketball. Football? No, I said basketball. He said that. That's, that was her in that football he was going? Yeah. That's why I was trying to get yeah, more. Oh. You play football? Yes. Ho, 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 ho. So, let's, let's, let's back up a little bit. So, how old was you when you played football? Uh, and with equipment on, with real equipment? Yes, I was in the fifth grade. I don't... Maybe 11. Okay, so you actually played on a football team in the fifth grade around 10 11. Yes. What position did you play? I played running back and corner. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Was you the only girl on the team? Yes, I was. Okay. Did you have a score? Yeah, I scored once. You scored once. Now, was that before the track? That was. Oh, it was track, football. So at this point, what have you learned about teamwork and being on a team? Uh, basketball, teamwork. Uh, I don't. I don't. I mean, I guess every it's not like, like they say there's no I team. So we all gotta work together and stuff to come to win, strive for it, to put a to put a goal. But uh, for track, I don't. Know, really having a team for that because I, I believe that track is an individual sport so basically your teammates are your competition as well wow okay That's deep. at this stage at this stage at the stage you're in right now what advice do you have for young black females or young females um muslim females that are striving to do what you do uh, my advice i would say well you can say go for it and all that stuff because like they don't know what you're going through, and they don't know what you can do, and, and I believe that you could be better than them because, because of the uh, clothing that you wear and all that. So you you think more Muslim girls should play sports? Um, I think they should. I mean, if they if, they, if that's their passion to really want to do a sport, then I really think they should, no matter what people say. And at this point, have you felt any um, discrimination? Um, yes. I mean. I, last year, they tried to make me. Uh, they said I couldn't wear my coat, my uh, tunic, and my kimura because I think they said it was like I don't. I don't know what they said. I didn't really care. I didn't really care for it because I know I could do exactly what they're doing and maybe even do it better. 